previously on Suits Crafting. And now, the conclusion. Well, I got the void all filled in with a little bit of Mother of Pearl. I even did the one that was here on the back side. You can see in there that I filled in that gap. And then I filled in the gap here where it chunked out. There used to be a V-shape right here. That's all filled in now. And then I even filled in the little gap that was on this one. And then I went through, completely smothered the entire blank in CA glue in order to fill in all the little cracks and gaps here. So we're going to get this loaded back on, get this trimmed down to correct size, and we will salvage this blank. Now I'm going to use my negative rake scraper on this so that I'm not too aggressive and too harsh on it. And that will give me a, uh, a little bit less of a cut. It'll take longer, but it will give me a better overall finish at the end and it won't be too aggressive and risk the chance of splitting out again. Got a little tiny void right there. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this flake and see if I can't get a little bit of it onto the blank. You guys see that? Yeah, you can see that. Right where that gap is. And I just want to push it down inside of it. So this is one way to fill small gaps is to do this. Just get a pick tool with a nice point on it and push them down in. And then the, the powder or the flakes will actually break up when going down inside and they'll fill that gap really nicely. And then you just hit it with a little CA glue and then that'll be nice and filled. And you don't have to fill it all the way to the top. In fact, it's actually better not to because then it'll show off the sides of the shell a little better. It'll be a little, little bit more broken up, a little neater looking. Then I always put something underneath, that way I can uh, recover any shell that's fallen out. Just pour it back in. And this is just some easy inlay. Uh, Scott Grove uh, puts out this stuff, Mother of Pearl. This is the fine. And then I also have uh, Mother of Pearl Flake for doing larger stuff. And these are really neat. I really like these. I've been really happy with them. I haven't used a whole lot of it. Um, it was like 25 bucks, I think, for both of these. And they have gone a long way. I've done multiple pens with them. And you can even do larger projects with them too. Uh, but this is just the application I've used them for so far. And now we can just hit that with a dab of thin. That'll just fill that in. Hit it with our activator. And that'll seal that in place. Saw a little hole right there in the middle. Let's hit that. And there we go. Gaps filled in. Now we can get back to turning.
All right, there we have it. We got it down to the bushings, but of course my lay is a little off, so I'm going to bring this back, rotate it slightly, tighten that back down, and then just true it up. And there we have it. We get this all sanded up and polished, and I'll see you guys back in a bit. All right, well, I got this all polished up to about 600 grit, and now I'm going to go ahead and go through and put on the CA finish. Got some blue shop towels set up. I've already cleaned this up with denatured alcohol. Just going to get a little bag on my finger here, get my bottle opened up, and we'll get this going. Turn my speed all the way down. There's our first coat. I'm going to put on one more coat of medium and then three coats of thin and then we'll be ready to polish this back up and put it together. All right, there we go. I'm going to get that all polished up, and I'll see you guys back when we're ready to put on some HUD Ultra Gloss. All right, got this all polished up. Just going to hit it with some HUD Ultra Gloss. Really happy with how this turned out. You can see that area of Mother of Pearl there. Really neat looking. Just get a dot of HUD Ultra Gloss on here. Rub that in. Get a little more for the other side. And we'll turn it on to about 2,000, buff it in. And we just buff it off. And there we have it. So it just put together. So I'm going to turn this into a gold rollerball pen. I've got a whole bunch of these rollerball inks left over from all of the G2 conversions that I've been doing. So I'm just going to go ahead and make this up for a rollerball pen. First thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my clip and my cap and I'm going to align my clip with my concentricity line that I put on the inside of the tube right there. I'm going to press that in. And that's going to give me my line for when I need to put in my other side. It's also just a really nice spot, actually, I found. Uh, shows the convergence between the two colors pretty nicely. Keeps that out and in the forefront. I'm just going to make sure that I'm all lined up here. There we have it. Then I'll drive that home. There we go. That looks pretty nice, just like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and put on the center band here.
And you have to kind of watch the center band because as you press it in, some of the plastic and, and such will actually press out. And to clean that off, you just get it down past the metal and then just take a pick and just kind of scrape and pick off that plastic and get it out of the way there. There we go. I'll just drive that home. Got a real nice fit and finish on there. Next step we're going to take is we're going to take our front section. We're going to thread that into our coupler. Oops, let me put that back on there. And then we're going to simply twist that in place. We're going to back it up slightly. So I found that when I press it in, it doesn't always line up right. So now we're going to take our line, which is right here to the top. Press that in right there. We'll unthread it. And then we'll press that in. Whoops. Undo my front section here. Put that back on. And there it is. Lined up beautifully, just like that. Now we can put on our back. So now we just need to press in our post cap. There's two parts right here. Those press together. Bring in our tailstock some. I love this system because with all other systems, it's hard to keep pressure on something. But with this, I can totally comp let it go, get my hand out of the way, and back it off. And the tailstock will actually keep pressure on. I love these cups for putting pens together. So there's our post cap. Now for our post cap coupler, we're going to take our front end off here. Tighten that down so it moved on me. Didn't press it in all the way. There. That gave it a tight squeeze. So now we just take our spring, put our fat end to the back, push that all the way in. It'll drop in. That back end will hold it in place. Thread that onto the back. We can take our ink here. Drop it in. Take off our cap. There it's engaging against the spring. Now we can put our front end on. And there we have it. That pearl section turned out really nice. Love how that looks. Let's see if I can get it to focus on camera here. Really like how that looks. Those other sections, although they were mistakes, they look like they belong. Turned out really, really good. Really happy with how that turned out. Now, if I want in the future, I can always take that end section off. I can convert it into a G2 or a Frixion or any of the other ink refills that I carry in my shop. But for now, I'm just going to use the rollerball ink, see if I like it. And we'll go from there. I think I'm going to carry this one in my pocket for a while because it's really a beautiful pen.